If you're new to my channel, I run a little side hustle on eBay, and it's fun, and I put it up on YouTube. The comments in the videos have been telling me I need to charge for shipping, especially on certain products. Uh, one being this massive collection of car parts that I have. They're all lenses. I'll put up some pictures of those. They're for new, uh, they're new old stock, meaning they're for old classic cars, but they're new parts. So they sell pretty well, but the shipping costs definitely eat into my profit. So today, we're going to fix that, and we're going to use a feature in eBay called the File Exchange. What it is, is a way that you can download your inventory into a file, and you can upload your inventory from a file. Maybe you've never heard of a CSV file, but today we're going to cut through all the nonsense and just show you how it works. So the first thing to understand is, why would you even want to use this file exchange? There's already a bulk update tool, and you can do mass edits with that, and it's a pretty good tool. Um, where the file exchange comes handy is if you need to pull data from another system, or if you already have a data file, um, this is when it's nice. So, in the example I want to show today, I have a data file full of the dimensions and weight for all of these products behind me. So instead of weighing these individually and measuring them to get dimensions on what shipping is going to cost, I have a data file that I can pull in automatically uh, one time shot. So that's what this tool is really good for. So like I said, I wanted to import the dimensions and the weight for all of these products, but I don't want to have to sit there and weigh all of them. And I mentioned that I have a data file. So the way I got this is I kind of lucked out. I couldn't find anything on their website. I emailed Trim Parts and I asked them if they have this data. And I also just kind of mentioned I might be interested in dealer pricing and some other stuff. And probably within a few minutes, they responded back and had attached this file. This file has all of the part numbers that they carry and it has all of the height, width, length, and weight right here. So the weight is in pounds, and um, height, width, length are all in inches. So that is like perfect. I really lucked out to have that, so that's going to save me a ton of work. So the next step is to just go to the eBay file exchange, and honestly, I can't find the way to navigate to it. I had a hard time finding it before I knew about it, so I just searched for it, eBay file exchange boom and it should show up on google it's usually the first result pull that up okay this is it it looks pretty old school there is some documentation in here and you can read around and feel free to uh peruse what's here but uh primarily what we're here to do first is to download the data file for our inventory so i'm going to go to download file once you're in download files, you can select your active listings. And I normally pick file exchange, revised price and quantity. Um, and we'll do all active listings, no date range. And you do need to put an email here. It's going to default to your email. And then just hit save. This part might seem a little weird because nothing is downloaded at this point. But the way it works is it sets off a little background job, and they're going to email you when the download is ready for you. So I suppose that's if you have a huge collection, they can't promise to you know, have a download link readily available at all times. It's just going to be a thing where you say, go do it, and later you'll get an email, and you can download the CSV file. Okay, so I'm in my email here, and it gives you a link, and I'm going to click that, and now the file's downloaded. So the next step is going to be to import that file into my spreadsheet. You may have already noticed I'm using Google Spreadsheets, but really Excel or any other spreadsheet program is going to be totally fine. But here's how I do it with Google Spreadsheets. I go to File and Import, Upload, Select a file, and I'm just going to grab that latest file here, and that will upload. 
Now you have to choose what to do with it. In my case, I wanted to go into a new sheet. And we'll just hit import. There we go. So now I have two uh, sheets in my workbook here. I've got the trim parts inventory, and I have my eBay inventory here. Um, I deleted a bunch of the columns that were included, and I just whittled it down to these three, because these are the only important ones for right now. There's the revise. Uh, this is actually the action column, and revise is all we're going to be doing here, because we're just updating. We're not creating any new records. This is just going to be updating exist existing items. And then we have the item ID that just indicates what item that this row is responsible for. And I'm leaving my custom label here. This is for me so that I can filter this down to just the parts that I want to update. And I'm also going to be using this um, because these part numbers uh, will reference the parts over in the trim parts inventory. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all the rows of stuff that I don't want to update. Um, I have a lot of, this is my whole inventory, and I just want to update the trim parts stuff. So I'm going to take a minute to just do that real quick. Okay, I have this whittled down to just the rows that I want. So there's 174 rows, including the headers. So really 173 different uh, listings that I want to update. So next, I'm going to add columns for all of the different things that I want to update. So I'm going to do a little bit of magic here. Boom, I suddenly have uh, six or seven more columns here. Um, yeah, so what I did was I added the columns that we want to update for the weight and the package type and the package length, width, and depth. Uh, those are these columns here. Now, I didn't make these up. Um, these are documented. And you can find all of this information, again, just by searching. Go to uh, eBay File Exchange Documentation. And if you search for that, you'll find this PDF document. If you open this up and pretty much just do a search for whatever it is you want, so we'll look for weight. There's this section on using package weight and dimension fields. You can click that. And you can read through this and get all the details on how I just did all that. Um, you know, it takes a little bit of research, but if there's something specific that you want to update or import, then you can probably find the fields documented in here. Let's go through these one by one and briefly discuss what these values are. So for weight unit, it's just LB all the way down. So we're using pounds. That one's kind of obvious. Then you got weight major and weight minor. Major, when you're using LBs, is pounds, and minor is ounces. So, like I said, I didn't want to type all these in by hand, so what I actually did was I wrote a little formula, and you can see that here. Um, I won't get too into detail about the formula itself, but um, basically VLOOKUP is your friend, okay? You can look up Google Spreadsheets, how to do a VLOOKUP, and basically what that function will let you do is to specify a column from this row and reference another sheet and match that value. So if we're looking over here at this, we're saying A6760. Now I'm going to do a little search here manually, 6760. And that is this line here. So VLOOKUP is going to find this row. And if we go back to this, the um, next part is it's um, it's searching within this range, and then it will pull column 16. So I counted it out. Column 16 is actually the weight, which if we scroll over here uh, for this item, it's 0.33 is the weight. Now, I had to do a little bit more math, obviously, to turn 0.33 into pounds and ounces. So that's what this extra stuff is here about trunk and all that. So I'm going to just kind of gloss over that. I don't think it's super important because you're not going to have the exact same kind of logic that I had for this particular case. Um, but there is a wealth of knowledge about these formulas online. So um, let's just skip over that a little bit. So I did that for major, and I did that for minor to figure out the ounces. Now, 
Mind you too, when you put in these formulas like this, you can use this and drag down to have it just update automatically for each row. Um, that's a good tip to know. Package type. This is going to be package or thick envelope just across the board because I know that these lenses fit usually in envelopes or very small packages and so um, nothing too advanced needed there. As far as length, width, and depth, it's again just going and doing a VLOOKUP. So um, length, width, and depth, I didn't have to do any uh, additional math on those. If I look over here at this document, those are stored just like I'm going to need them and those are in inches. So there we go. What we have here is a completely ready to import document. So the very next step that we want to do is just to download this sheet as a CSV. So go to File and go to Download and find Comma Separated Values CSV. We'll hit that and boom, there it is. It's on the desktop now. So now we go back to the file exchange and instead of downloading files, we go to Upload Files. And then we choose a file. We select the last file that we just saved. And we can just click Upload. Now, just like before, it's not going to be done right away. Um, so we can go to this link here, actually. And this will list all of our current jobs and how many of them, how like percentage wise uh, along that they are. So this one says it's in progress, but it is not complete yet. And you can see that I've done some tests earlier before I did this. Okay, so now it's complete. Um, you might just want to refresh a few times until this is completed uh, or just walk away and get a coffee, whatever works for you. Um, when it's done, you can see kind of how many actions were done. So that should be like the number of rows that were in your document. You can also download the report. I'd suggest doing that because that's going to show you if there were any, any errors or warnings and whether or not the rows were successfully imported. So the only thing left to do now is to just go check it out, see if it worked. Let's pick a random item. I'll go to this one, these Corvette backup light lenses. I'm going to click edit. And I'm just going to scroll down all the way to where all the dimensions and weight are. And look at that. We've got our dimensions and we have our weight. This is awesome. It saved me a ton of time entering all that information. Okay, I hope that was really helpful for you. This tool can be really nice if the bulk editor is giving you trouble or doesn't quite do what you need it to do. Alright, thanks for watching.